Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Oklahoma versus UCF college football matchup on Saturday, October 21st, 2023. It's my favorite day of the week during my favorite time of the year, College Football Saturday here on YouTube. I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com, right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from the world's best handicappers, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com, Click on the Premium Picks tab. While you're there, use that discount code PICK. You'll get 15% off all of your purchases of $19 or more. We now also have the Pick Dogs Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays. These are meant for people who make big bets. I make big bets, so I totally get it. Call or text the number. You'll talk to a person, um, a live person. They'll answer all your questions. I know you're going to love it. But anyways, let's get to this one. Oklahoma taking on UCF, and every game in college football always has an interesting story and an interesting angle, and this game, even though it's Oklahoma versus UCF, whose first year in the Big 12, their first trip to Norman, uh, of course there's a story. Dylan Gabriel, the quarterback for Oklahoma, used to be the quarterback at UCF, <laughs> and I think, you know, that is a pretty big story there within itself. So UCF, you know, I think that they're going to have a little bit of extra motivation coming into this game, and while, you know, most of you that have seen my videos over the years, we've usually said pretty good things about UCF over the years. I think this UCF team has probably taken a little bit of a step back. I think we've seen this with other teams over the years that have entered larger conferences, and it's not necessarily that they've, you know, that they've entered the larger conference, is that the timing that they entered the large conference just wasn't ideal for the type of team that they've had. And I believe that UCF will have better days ahead, but the team that they brought to the party here in this, you know, in this year where they had to step it up just wasn't quite to the level of even the UCF teams that we've seen in recent years. And that, that is the bigger problem for them. They'll be better just not right now. Meanwhile, Oklahoma coming off the win against Texas. They've had a week off to uh, enjoy and think about it, but now chomping at the bit to get back on the field. And one thing we know about Oklahoma and games in Norman, the Sooners get ridiculously good calls in these games. So don't expect to see a bad call, a bad bounce, or anything to go against the Sooners. If anything, what you'll see is like that, you know, that, that, weird call that'll nullify any kind of play that UCF has to make the game even close. Whether it's coincidence or not so much of a coincidence, it just seems to happen an awful lot in these type of games. I just think that while I like UCF, I like the program and I like what they've done over the long haul, I don't love them so much this year. And I think heading into Norman in this spot, I just don't think it's a good good spot for them at all. I think Oklahoma wins this thing going away. I'm going to take Oklahoma and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free, and the way they work, they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds, and from there, you can assess the risk-reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most and pay the most. That's how you make money betting on sports.